How's it going guys? This is Scott for Sign 5 here with the unboxing and review of something that's really cool and I've been wanting this for quite a while. I actually picked this up while I was on my internship in Illinois but I didn't have a chance to really actually open it until now. So you guys have seen it the first time just as I am. So this is a plasma ball for those of you who don't know and I got the three diameter ball. So it's a really tiny one just so I can put it on my desk and play around with it when I'm a little bored or whatever. Just a quick look at the back. And uh, that's pretty much it. So let's just go ahead and open this up. Alright, I'll read it first with the operation instructions. So this isn't a toy, so don't get go get this for your like, three-year-old nephew or anything. But this is a very nice piece. It's just like something that you would... It's something equivalent to like a lava lamp so something that's really pretty and scientific and light I don't know why I just said that but like it emits light <laughs> anyways so yeah it also has a little bit of a sound response because you can actually feel the vibration and just some safety guidelines like I said this is not a toy so get this for your scientific buddy okay phone and here it is Nice little blue base. I don't remember having this. Is this, a blue, this want to be a blue base? Oh yeah, I guess it's a little bit blue. I thought it was black when I first saw it. And that's it for the box. Here's the power cord, I assume. Get rid of the foam pieces. Man, this is a pretty heavy uh, box, actually. Ooh, and this is a hefty wall charger for whatever reason. I don't know why this one's so heavy. Okay, and then it plugs in using the circular plug. And here's the centerpiece. So, when I bought it at the store, I believe it was like 20-ish bucks, something like that. But you can definitely get it online as usual for cheaper. Museum prices are definitely... A lot more expensive, but uh, it's kind of a splurge purchase. I thought it was a reasonably good deal. Anyways, um, so here's where it plugs in. It has a transparent base. So you can see what's going on here. And then here's the little plug, little ball. So let me just go ahead and plug it in to see how it looks. Alright, so here I am plugging it in. It also has an on-off switch here on the side. The one thing to know is a it kind of gets stuck sometimes, so make sure that you turn it all the way to the left to make sure it's completely off, otherwise it can definitely turn on by itself and that's kind of dangerous. But as you can see, I am touching it just with my finger, even multi-finger touch, so it responds to any kind of cetero, uh, sorry, electrostatic uh, induction. It is a little bit faint when in broader daylight so I recommend you putting it in a darker place if you want to show it off. The one thing I did find when I was plugging it in is that the cable is actually made out of lead so you definitely don't want to be handling this too much and if you do touch it you want to make sure you wash your hands afterwards. There are definitely a lot of products that have lead in them still. I'm not too sure why they still do but this one is one of them. It's not necessarily a big deterrent but that's something to keep. Also, another thing I noticed is that after touching it, my hand smelled kind of, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if it's exactly a burn smell, but it definitely smells a little bit metallic. It has a, a very clear smell to it. So I would also recommend washing hands after handling this and don't touch this too much. Overall, I, I don't know, I just have maybe a little partial bias to plasma balls. I think they're really cool looking and they're a really nice scientific phenomenon. But I think this particular model is a little bit on the cheap side. There aren't even any little rubber grips on the bottom to help prevent any kind of slippage. Especially for a plasma ball with high energy, it's a little bit, it's a little bit uh, concerning that it's, it doesn't seem like it's built super well. So ultimately, I would only recommend this for adults. And if you have the money to splurge on a better plasma ball, I probably would. But for a very basic one, I think this is pretty decent. Okay, so thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel Sky for Sunday 5 for more product reviews and unboxings like this. Thanks for watching.